الحمد للہ الحمد للہ وقفا و صلاۃ وسلام عباد استفا خصوصا علی افضل و خاتم النبیین محمد الامین و علی و صحب ہی اجمعین اما بعد فقط قال اللہ تبارک و تعالی کما ورد فی صورت النساء اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ان اللہ امرکم ان تعد الامانات الى اہلها و ازا حکم تم بین الناس ان تحکمو بالعد ان اللہ نعم یعزکم به ان اللہ کان سمیعا بصیرا یا ایوہ الذین آمنوا اتیعوا اللہ و اتیعوا الرسول و اولی الامر منکم فَإِن تَنَازَعْتُمْ فِي شَيْءٍ فَرُدُّوهُ إِلَى اللَّهِ وَالرَّسُولِ إِن كُنْتُمْ تُؤْمِنُونَ بِاللَّهِ وَالْيَوْمِ الْآخِرِ ذَلِكَ خَيْرٌ وَأَحْسَنُ تَعْوِيلًا صدق الله العظيم رب شرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل لقبة من لساني يفقه قولي اللهم ربنا ألهمنا رشدنا وعزنا من شرور أنفسنا اللهم ارنا الحق حقا وارزقنا اتباعه وارنا الباطل باطلا وارزقنا اجتنابه اللهم ارحمنا بالقران العظيم واجعله لنا اماما ونورا وهدى ورحمه اللهم ذكرنا منه ما نسينا وعلمنا منه ما جهلنا وارزقنا تلاوته انا الليل واطراف النهار واجعله لنا حجة يا رب العالمين امين Dear brothers and sisters and sons and daughters in Islam, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. As you must be remembering, we completed the translation and brief study of the first 57 ayat of Surah An-Nisa last night. Now we are proceeding further. The two ayat which I have just recited our most profound ayat of the Quran regarding the fundamental principles of Islamic State. Just as we read two ayat, ayat number 32 and 34, they were most profound regarding the institution of family. Ayat number 34 says, Ar-Ridalu <laughs> وَبِمَا أَنفَقُوا مِنْ أَمْوَالِهِمْ فَالصَّالِحَاتُ قَانِتَاتٌ حَافِظَاتٌ لِلْغَيْبِ بِمَا حَفِظَ اللَّهِ إِلَىٰ آخِرِ الْآيَةِ So in the same way these two ayat are very basic, very fundamental regarding the structure of Islamic State. And in these two ayat we find that all the three pillars or the basic institutions they have been mentioned of an Islamic State. Although the terminology used here is not of the modern political science. These are general terms, general words. But if you analyze the ayat, you find that all the three pillars of a state, you know, in a modern state we have three basic institutions, basic pillars. Legislature on the one side, executive on the other side, and then the judiciary. So you will find that these all three of these are being mentioned here. And let me explain in the beginning. The political system of Islam is that of caliphate. The first basic principle is that sovereignty belongs to Allah. Not to any human being as individual or not to the nation or humanity at large collectively. سروری زیبہ فقط اس ذات بے ہمتا کو ہے حکمراہ ہے ایک وہی باقی بتان آزری ان الحکم اللہ اللہ سوورنٹی بلانگز ٹو ہم ناو اف سوورنٹی بلانگز ٹو اللہ وٹ ریمینس فار دی ہیومنس دیٹ از کالڈ خلافہ وائس ہیر این سی وٹ از اٹ وٹ ایور کمانڈز آر کمنگ فرام دی ریئل سوورن یو ہیو ٹو امپلیمنٹ ایز سچ یو کانٹ آلٹر یو کانٹ چینج دیم Not even 100% of you can, do, can, can make any change in it. What to speak of 51%, majority or minority, absolutely irrelevant. What command is coming from Allah is to be implemented as such. 
where there is no specific instructions from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It is amrukum. Now Allah has given this, this fear to you. Wa amruhum shura bainahum. Here you can have mutual consultation. Decide the matters. But till that time that the institution of Nabuwa, institution of prophethood was continuing. The Khilafa used to be personal and individual. The Nabi was the Caliph in his own person. That is why we find in the Quran, Hazrat Dawood alayhi salam was addressed, Ya Dawood, inna ja'alna ka khalifatan fil ard. Here the pronoun is singular. O Dawood, we have declared you to be the Caliph on earth. Inna ja'alna ka khalifatan fil ard. Because it's very logical. Allah is sovereign and this person, this human being, he is Nabi, he is Prophet. He has a direct communication with the real sovereign. The commands of Allah are coming to him. So he has to implement them. So he is the Caliph in his own individual person. That is why singular pronoun used, Ya Dawood Jalna Inna Jalna Ka Khalita Fan Fil Ard. And this continued. Till such time that the institution of Caliphate was, the institution of Nabuwa, prophethood was continuing, this was the condition. That is why we find in, in the Hadith, the Sahih of Bukhari, Rahimahullah, Kaanat Manu Israel Tasusahumul Ambiya, Kullama Halaka Nabiyun, Khalafahu Nabiyun. The community matters, the political affairs of Bani Israel were in the hands of the prophets. Whenever a prophet died, another prophet was in his place. Just as we know, Hazrat Dawood died, he was the Caliph, and he was the Prophet, and after him, Hazrat Sulaiman, alayhi wa salatu wa salam, he is the, he is the Caliph, and he is the Prophet. But now, when this institution of Prophethood has come to an end in the person of Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, now things are changed. This Caliphate is now collective for the Ummah. That is why now we find in Surah Al-Nur, that the plural pronoun is used. It is not ka now, it is not one person. This khilafat is now has become a collective affair of the Muslim Ummah as a whole. So these are the basic principles. And then, you know, there are the institutions. There must be somebody who has to look after the affairs of the state. You may call him the head of the state, you may call him anything, you may call him caliph, but there should be an executive machinery to manage the affairs of the state. Then you know, ijtihad is to be continuously made. Legislation, this process will continue. New problems will arise and we shall have to solve them. So there has to be a legislature also. Then there has to be a judiciary also. So all these three basic principles and basic ingredients of a state, modern state, we can say that they are potentially present and mentioned in these two ayat. Inna Allah ya murukum an tuaddul amanat ila ahlihaf. The first instruction. Verily, O Muslims, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ordains upon you that you hand over the trust to those to whom it belongs or to those who are worthy. Now what is the trust? When you are a community, you have to elect or select or somehow, you must have some caliph, some head of the state. You have to elect him by mutual consultation. Amrahum shura bainahum. Now this authority that you have as a vote, for example, I can say, this is the biggest trust of the community and of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in your hand. Now if you are giving this vote to a person who is not worthy of it, so you are making khayana. You are not proving to be a means. So actually all these, these things, whatever offices, whatever responsibilities are to be given to the people to manage the affairs of the community, of the ummah. So they, these things should be given, the offices, the responsibilities. These are the trust with you and you have to hand them over to people who are worthy of it. Inna Allah ya murukum an tuaddul amanat ila ahliha. Who are, who have the capability of making ijtihad? Who can be entrusted with the process of legislation in the Islamic State? 
you have to select them or elect them whatsoever it is and who is going to be the head of the state you have to elect him or select him but you know this this your opinion that you give the vote that you give that is the biggest trust and you have to use it for the persons who have the capability and who are worthy of it inna allaha ya'murukum man tuaddul amanati ila ahliha now the second institution and that is judiciary wa iza hakamtum bain an-nas an tahkumu bil adl and when you are judging between the people any dispute any affair which has erupted and you sit in judgment whosoever you are whenever you are judging wa iza hakamtum bain an-nas between the people among the people an tahkumu bil adl you must judge with justice not no partisanship no favor special favors to anybody you have to cling to the justice principles of adl and kisb inna allaha ni'ma ya'idukum bi these are very excellent teachings and advices that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given you because on this is based the structure of this of the state and what is state by the way when a society reaches a mature organization state stage it becomes a state as i told you what is society it's a collection of families now an organized society becomes a state and now you have to manage the affairs of that state and you have to have some legislature you have to have some some judiciary these are the two essential ingredients of that state inna allaha ya'murukum an tu'addul amanati ila ahliha number 1 number 2 wa idha hakamtu bain an-nas an tahkumu bil adl inna allaha ni'ma ya'idukum bi these are the best advices most excellent teaching that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is giving you inna allaha kana sami'an basira verily allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is ever listening ever seeing 